First, you can go to the Gypsy documentation to read the texts. In general, you will need to download three things. The first thing is Gypsy's uh, firmware image. The second thing is um, a USB boot program from the Raspberry Pi. And the third thing is a Raspberry Pi imager. You can download the firmware images and uh, decompress it. Then we will go to the next step. On Windows, you can download the USB boot program from the official Raspberry Pi uh, GitHub repository. Double click to install the program. Uh, it could take some time to finish all the driver installing and uh, please wait until all the screens close automatically. And then you can open the RPI boot CM4 CM5 program, then keep it here. For Linux users such as uh, Ubuntu, uh, I suggest you download the, the source code and uh, compile from source. You could just follow the commands of the uh, GitHub repo of the Raspberry Pi's USB boot repository, uh, copy paste them to your uh, workstation, and then when you see the um, uh, 2712 here, and uh, you are good to go. For microOS, I suggest you build the program from source. Uh, just uh, follow the instructions of the GitHub repository of the uh, Raspberry Pi's uh, USB boot program. And uh, you may need to install some packages uh, with Homebrew uh, after you install everything and run the uh, RPI boot program. You could see a, uh, a 2712 here, and then you are good to go. The next step for all Windows, Linux, and MicroOS user is to connect the product to your workstation. You will need a USB Type-C cable. And then you will need to press and hold the PROG button. And then in the meantime, connect the power supply. When you see there is text appearing on the RPI boot program, you can release the PROG button. That means your product has boot into the mass storage mode. The last step is to use RPI Imager or uh, Bolin Nature to flash the firmware to the product. Uh, you can choose the firmware you have just downloaded and decompressed, and then choose the mass storage device of the CM5 EMMC. Uh, you can tell it from the size, maybe it's 32 gigabytes, maybe it's uh, 64 gigabytes. And then click next and uh, you may enter your password or not. Then just uh, wait around 5 to 10 minutes, then you are good to go. After flashing the images, you need to reboot the product. Uh, you can just uh, unplug the power cable and then uh, apply power to it again. It will automatically reboot a few times, then it will boot into the desktop. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.